CV-19 Self-Defense is a research project funded by Florida State University. The objectives of the project are twofold. First, it is an educational tool that provides mobile phone users with the most up-to-date information from healthcare authorities, as well as access to nearby test centers. Second, the tool can assist users in assessing symptoms based on CDC guidelines, maintaining social distance as necessary, and managing self-quarantine status. The social distance nudge can remind users if someone comes too close within six feet. Quarantine status gives users a tool to manage safe locations and points of reference during the quarantine period. Now let's take a tour of the CV-19 Self-Defense mobile app. First, the user creates an account so they can manage their personal health information. A registered user can quickly log into the app, and the first view is the user's personal dashboard. There are five features provided in this app. The first is the latest news updates. Users are provided with RSS feeds from the World Health Organization, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. You can click to get into each website for the articles. The second feature allows you to find a nearby test center based on your current location. The users can view detailed information from the list of test centers. The third feature is the self-assessment of symptoms based on CDC guidelines. Users can add and maintain their own health assessment, keeping a diary of their symptoms when necessary. Moreover, the user can view a graphical summary of all recorded symptoms from all past assessments. Of course, users can also update their account information at any time. The feature of this app is the social distance nudge. Users can turn on automated device scan function to receive social distance nudges. Should an unexpected person come close, the app on the phone will vibrate to nudge the user to move away. The social distance nudge will run approximately every five minutes in the background. Once this function is turned on by the user, the user will also get a notification on the phone if someone comes within six feet. Users can manually scan their surroundings to discover devices that are within six feet. The lower action button on this page gives users an option to save the scanned results. Users can go to the View Scan History to review all the scanned devices since they registered. Users can also rename devices globally so that they can know and identify safe contacts who they've been hanging out with within six feet. The final feature of this app is to assist users in maintaining self-quarantine when necessary. The initial quarantine status is not activated until users choose to begin the quarantine. Users can activate the quarantine status and a countdown timer will start to provide real-time feedback. One important function of my quarantine status 
is the ability to set a user's home location. Users can choose to have their lo home locations set as safe locations on the app. And the home location can be multiplied so users can have flexibility determining their safe living boundaries. Once the quarantine period is over, the tracking status is reset to inactive. This function will generate a report on the user's quarantine status summary. We hope this tool can help the community manage their personal safe boundaries and defend against the coronavirus. We are stronger together as a community. This app is free and downloadable at iSensorAnalytics.com.